1903. Britain has smashed the impi, put down the Ashanti, and King Edward VII is on the throne. It is an age of excess. <laughs> Formerly Bertie, Prince of Wales, along with Lord Walsingham, the Marquis of Ripon, and the Maharaja Julip Singh, Good afternoon. Bertie was one of the great shots of the day. Their records are remarkable. On the 30th of August, 1888, Lord Walsingham shot 1,070 grouse to his own gun. Now all this shooting means lots of travel for the king between country houses and from then to his stands, often in the newfangled, open-top, horseless carriages. This worried his doctor. <gasps> Indeed, it worried his doctor so much, he decided his majesty needed a restorative. Did he seek one from the king's chemist? He did not. He went straight to the king's wines and spirit suppliers, Merry Brothers and Rudd, whose shop was, and still is conveniently located, opposite the doors to St. James's Palace. They tried a number of concoctions. Slow gin? <laughs> Cherry brandy? <laughs> Apple vodka? <laughs> Until they came up with this. The King's Ginger. <laughs> his Majesty was delighted. His vigour renewed, ever more birds fell to his gun. And the drink became an essential part of the Edwardian house party. <laughs> Sorry. And the best news is, the King's Ginger is still available to discerning shooters. Just ask for it at your own warrant holder for wines and spirits. Or visit Berry Brothers' excellent website at www.thekingsginger.com, where you can order it online. <laughs> Sorry.